Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn how to add three digit numbers and the number one and we're going to do this using the horizontal format. Now adding one is very simple. Okay let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have this. We've got 427 plus 1. So we're adding it. Now the simplest way to do this is have a look at the number 427 and try to find the units. On the right hand side we've got the units, 7. What we're adding, 1 is also a unit. So basically we're just adding the 1 to the 7. Okay? 7 plus 1 is 8. The other two digits in this example do not change. Okay, that's only in this example. They do not change. So what is the answer? It is 428. 428. Now, how easy was that? That was nice and simple. Okay, we're going to look at one more. Okay, this one's a bit more tricky. We've got 679 plus 1. 679 plus 1. Now, there's more than one way to do this. Let's start by using the same method as above. We've got units here and we're adding a unit. So we're adding 1 to the number 9. If we're adding 1 to 9, that becomes 10. So effectively, this becomes 0 here, and we're carrying 1 over to the tens. So now we're going to add the 7 and the 1. That becomes 8. In this scenario, this, the first digit, the 100, does not change. So what is the answer? It becomes, just change colors for this, it becomes 680. 680. Now I'm just going to write this again over here. So we've got 679 plus 1. Another way to do this is have a look at the last digit over here and we can see we've got a 9. Now if it's a 9 and we're going to add 1, what we can do is just shift to the left and say well instead of it being 9 let's look at it as 79. Okay, let's look at it as 79. So if it is 79, what number comes after 79? Don't forget we're only adding 1. The number after it is 80. The 600s over here does not change. So therefore the answer becomes 680, which is the same answer we had over here. Okay, two slightly different methods. They're not massively different. They're only slightly different, but you can work through both of them. Okay, we're just going to scroll down a little, and we're going to work through one more. This time we have 899 plus 1. In fact, we need to scroll down a bit further. There we go, we've got lots of room now. 899. So how would we do this? Well, there's again more than one way to do this. Let's use the same method we've been using in pink. We'll use this method first. So we've got units here and we're adding one unit to it. We're adding one to the number nine over here. Okay. If we add 1 to the 9, that becomes 10. So we're carrying 1. Okay. Now we have to add the 9 to this one here, the 10s. 9 plus 1, well that also equals 10 and we're carrying 1 again. So this looks very similar to a vertical format addition. Then we add 8 and 1, that becomes 9. The answer is 900. Okay, 900. 
Now, if we write this question again over here, 899 plus 1, and let's see if we can work it slightly differently. Because we're adding 1 to the 9, and that's going to make 10, why don't we look at two digits? Okay, the same as we did above, we looked at 679, we're going to look at two digits. It's 99. Okay, well, 99 plus 1 is 100. We can also just look at this as the entire three digits. 899, we're only adding 1, so we just count forwards. Let's start this at 896. What number comes next? 897, 898, 899, and 900. This is our question. I'll just change colors for this. 899 is over here. We're adding one more and it becomes 900. Okay, we're simply just counting forwards by one. You can use the method in pink on the left, but I think it's a little bit better to use the one on the right. Okay, because you know how to count up to a thousand. We've done that in learning numbers. So 899, count the next number if we're adding one, it becomes 900. So that is, I'll just scroll back up again, the addition of three-digit numbers and one using the horizontal format.